Welcome to this video series on Windows XP. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we will be uh, discussing essentially the Windows desktop and if you're not familiar with that uh, the screen that we are looking at is indeed considered called the desktop. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first we are just going to talk about general navigation and uh, talk about uh, some of these different areas in here. So at the desktop uh, towards the bottom left you'll see where it says start this is called the start button and this is what you would click to launch launch different applications right next to it is a little area called the uh, quick launch this is a nice place to have if you uh, are, are using uh, the same application often so you could just add that to that location for example I just clicked on the uh, Internet uh, Explorer icon and launched the application. Similarly, uh, I have one for uh, Microsoft Outlook. So that is uh, the quick launch button. I will go ahead and close this uh, application for now. And then uh, right next to that is essentially uh, this in this general area, you will have all the programs that you're working on. Currently, I'm just uh, using Camp. Camtasia Studio which is the recording utility. Uh, if you move on towards the right side you have essentially the uh, system tray which uh, gives you information on uh, the calendar. You could double click on the time and uh, this will uh, pop up the calendar and you can uh, change those uh, settings. You have the battery information uh, for my laptop. Um, you may not have that icon also uh, I'm connecting to a wireless network so those are uh, some of the uh, quick uh, also sort of like a quick launch uh, settings that you can use the main area that we will be talking about essentially is this uh, the area that is in green and this is the desktop uh, towards the left you'll see uh, what are called icons these are again uh, essentially shortcut ways to get to uh, either your files or folders. For example, you will see an uh, uh, icon here for my documents. If I go ahead and do a double click on it, it will uh, take, uh, take me straight to my documents, which is where all uh, the files and folders are kept for this user. So before we start getting into these uh, specific areas, um, I want to uh, start off with the uh, general properties of desktop and the easiest way to get there is uh, you can right click on it and go to properties and the first uh, setting we have uh, this is essentially broken down into tabs the first uh, section is a theme which is a background plus a set of sounds icons and other elements that you can personalize Currently the theme is set to Windows XP. Uh, if you don't like all the uh, strong colors that they have, you could definitely switch to uh, an, a different uh, theme. So if I were to switch to Windows Classic and click OK, you will notice that it went ahead and changed the color scheme and the layout. Um, so that is an easy way to do that. I will uh, for now switch back to Windows XP and notice it, uh, it actually did change the, uh, the background also the next one is uh, uh, the next tab is the desktop tab uh, this is uh, essentially where you can uh, choose your background also known as the wallpaper you could uh, certainly add a picture here if you wanted to so let's, uh, or you could just select none. If you did that, uh, it will just make it uh, essentially a blank background. But I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, find a picture, which uh, typically you can find in your um, pictures folder. I'm just going to go ahead and browse by details and see if I can find a picture. So here's our picture of our house and if I click OK, now essentially you changed the background for your desktop and this will uh, this setting will remain in effect till you actually change it. 
so I can just leave that as is you can also change some of the color schemes and the positions uh, another nice setting in here is uh, called customize desktop you can uh, change some of the other um, settings like the icons and also you can restore to the default settings if you have uh, maybe changed the icons looks like I have not really changed my I icons but let's say for my computer if I change the icon to uh, the globe okay and uh, I wanted to come and restore the setting to the original I could just click on restore and this will indeed change the uh, icon back to the original but what I like here is uh, a wizard called the cleanup uh, uh, desk cleanup wizard so uh, you could run this periodically uh, especially if you have a lot of icons on your desktop I'm going to go ahead and click on this right now and it will start a wizard that you can uh, just uh, follow the instructions I'm just going to uh, kind of go through this rather fast and let's, we'll see what what it did so notice just by running wizard I kind of cleaned up uh, my area by uh, almost half so some of those other icons that were in there I wasn't really using so uh, nice nice little feature to have you can also change your um, the current uh, home page if you wanted to I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this next step is the screensaver once again you can uh, change your uh, screensaver to different things if you want and it gives you a little uh, preview and you can also enable when do you want the uh, screensaver to uh, uh, start working I'm just uh, gonna select none over here click OK go back to the properties the next tab is the appearance uh, again same idea currently it's select, selected to Windows XP you could change this to classic if you wanted uh, the color scheme but I'm just going to leave Windows XP and then settings is definitely an important tab you may be using multiple monitors or you may want to change resolution so if this is uh, too small and you want to go to the next level you could slide this bar you could change the color setting and then click apply I noticed that it uh, it kind of changed some uh, settings but I'm going to uh, in fact try the next level and I think with my uh, current monitor it's not working out too well so I will switch back to uh, 1024 by 768 pixels uh, you could also change your color setting in here Just uh, all of a sudden, this looks a little different in here. So, I think when I change this setting, looks like uh, I'm getting the recording buttons down here, which is fine. We can just leave those uh, as as they are there, because I want to move on to other things. So, those were some of the properties in um, desktop. Another place uh, that you can use to get there is if you go to Start, Control Panel, and go to Display that essentially takes you to the same uh, location that we looked at next thing uh, I want to discuss is uh, shortcuts um, and that's a really uh, nice nice thing about uh, desktop is that if you are working with let's say a particular document or a um, folder that you're going to be using a lot and you you know every time you work on it you don't want to go search for it you can uh, uh, send that uh, link basically to the desktop so I just went to my documents I'm going to click on uh, this project